Once we get everything dialed in, our sights, our bows, everything feels right, we paper test it, we shoot our practice points, now it's time to shoot your broadhead. A big mistake I've made and everybody makes is we get really confident in our practice points and we don't shoot our broadheads. We want to save them. You know, they're 40 bucks for three, so yeah, of course we want to save them, but I always get a broadhead, I go shoot the target and see where it compares to my practice point. These tooth of the arrows should be spot on on my practice points. The way the bows tune and the way my arrows fly work perfectly with the tooth of the arrow. These are smaller 100 grain broadheads. I've had a lot of success with them. I went to Africa and killed the largest antelope in Africa with them. So my confidence is high with it. I always suggest get out there, shoot your broadheads, figure out where they're hitting compared to your practice points. Went to the bow shop, found this broadhead called Tooth of the Arrow. And they're a small company. And what I love about it is it's made out of one solid piece of steel. Nothing on here was attached. They grind it out of a solid rod and uh, it's a one inch cut. It's smaller than a lot of guys like, but I like a real hard hitting broadhead. And when I came to Africa, I brought my brand new Matthews bow, which has helped my shooting tremendously. But the thing is I have to get penetration on these animals. And I didn't realize that I'd be able to harvest the animals I did this week without this broadhead and these injection arrows from Cinnamon Creek. I don't think I could have got an arrow in some of these animals. This eland is massive. It caused the damage it needed to cause and it was a clean, clean harvest. That's what we want to do as bow hunters, guys. So I just wanted to tell you that's, that's something new I tried this year. These smaller spined arrows uh, had concerns, but they've, they've performed outstanding. An eland, a wildebeest, a red hartebeest, and a water buck, and not one of them made it very far. Come to Africa, make sure you have your broadheads right, your arrows right, do your research. And I'm shooting the best bow in the world, the Matthews Halon 6.